my sister wants to know what is the quickest way to get her A1C down. Uh, A1C or hemoglobin A1C is a test that determines how your blood sugar and the average of your blood sugar for the previous 90 days. So it is a three month window into how well your diabetes is controlled. A normal uh, A1C is less than 6.5. Greater than 6.5 is, is consistent with the diagnosis of diabetes. Uh, but the problem is that most of diabetics, particularly when they're first diagnosed, they're not 6.5, they're 12, they're 14. Uh, blood sugar has been out of control for an extended period of time and they're at ridiculous numbers. So the quickest way to get the A1C down is to get the blood sugar well controlled as quickly as possible. There are uh, two new classes of drugs that will accomplish that objective I really like. There's the SGLT2 inhibitors. What they do is they, they block a uh, what's called the SGLT2 uh, receptor in your kidneys so that the sugar, which norm, normally your, your kidneys filter out sugar, then reabsorbs it so it stays in your blood. But it's filtered out in urine, then it comes back in your blood, and so it's still circulating. What the SGLT2 inhibitor does is stop your body from reabsorbing it. So your kidneys will filter out the sugar, and it's not reabsorbed. So you urinate out the sugar. That lowers your blood sugar level. But guess what? When you urinate out the sugar, you also urinate out the calories associated with that sugar. So your blood sugar goes down, your hemoglobin A1C goes down, and you lose weight. Automatically, without question, you will lose weight. Not a single sit-up crunch, not going to the gym, uh, not even significantly altering your eating habits, although you should be following a low uh, cholesterol, ADA, or American Diabetes Association diet. But regardless of what your dietary changes are, you're going to be urinating out that sugar. You're going to lose weight with it. That is the beauty of these products. And once your sugar is controlled, they stop working. They're glucose dependent. So if your sugar is normal, they don't do anything. If your sugar goes up, they make you urinate out the sugar. So it is. So it does not cause your sugar to drop too low like a lot of diabetes medications can. They can't do that. So in combination with a, a product like metformin, which is the number one diabetes medication prescribed, you take the metformin uh, and you add an SGLT2 inhibitor, that will get the A1C down as quickly as possible. There's another class of drugs now, the GLP-1s. They come in tablets and they come in various injectables. Some of the injectables you take daily and you take a shot daily. Some of the, this is not insulin. This is not insulin. Or you can take the shot once a week. Um, they're even looking at monthly shots for some of these uh, types of medications. But the key thing is that they alter the way that your body metabolizes the, the sugar. They also help create a sense of satiety. You feel full, so you don't eat as much, hopefully. And they will lower your A1C as well by controlling your sugar. So some patients I have on both of those classes of drugs, uh, as well as the metformin. Uh, and, and, you know, and that's just amazingly uh, well, how well it controls their sugar. So uh, insulin is not the first choice to control your diabetes. Sometimes it is necessary, but insulin always makes you gain weight, no matter what type of insulin you're taking. Uh, some of them less than others. The basal insulins like Lantus and basal glottid ones you take at night have minimal impact on your weight, but they will stimulate you to be hungry. And you get hungry, you eat, you gain weight. Uh, so we're telling you to lose weight to help control your diabetes, but we're giving you insulin that makes you hungry and makes you gain weight the vast majority of the time. So if you are diabetic and you're taking insulin, see if you can come off the insulin with some of these newer products. If you are not on insulin yet, uh, have your doctor treat you with oral medications optimally and sometimes injections that are not insulin. This is very important for particularly people like truck drivers. Truck drivers can't keep their DOT license if they are on insulin. So it change you, you can it blocks your ability to support your family. And most truck drivers I know are making six figures. Now all of a sudden they can't work, they can't keep their driver's license because they're on insulin to control their sugar. Without that, they can't live. So what a lot of them do is they don't take the insulin. Uh, this is a problem. So, but there are now alternative medications that uh, will allow you to stay off of insulin but still control your blood sugar and help you lose weight so those are the options tell her to, to check with her, her 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 either endocrinologist or primary care doctor or internist about sglt2 inhibitors or glp ones uh in reference to the diabetes uh, treatment options so if you're not being treated with either of those drugs or both then you're not being optimally treated for your diabetes. Don't let them put you on medications that make your sugar drop too low uh, or, or just insulin that makes you hungry and makes you gain weight. 
and you you become a slave to the insulin. You have to take shots around the clock. You live for when you eat and when you take your shot. And that's your lifestyle from that point on once you're on insulin. So the objective is to avoid that if possible. And the ideal way to do that, keep your weight down, keep your A1C down. That might be the question of the day, Chili Wheel. 